Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. March 8th, 2019, the Ganara Karamova edition. We begin with a stunning release of unsealed charges today by the Department of Justice against the former Zuzbek Telecom executive and Gulmara Karamova, who is the daughter of the former president of Uzbekistan. She has been named as a respondent in multiple FCPA matters, most recently MTS, but also Telia Company and Vimplecom, and She's alleged to have received some $866 million in bribes for telecom licenses and rights in uh, the country of Uzbekistan. So uh, this is a great uh, arrest and charging by the Department of Justice and certainly showing that the DOJ is willing to literally go across national boundaries to uh, stop bribery and corruption. Next up, how to win friends and influence enemies as Huawei hits at U.S. Congress for acting as jury and executioner. The Huawei chairman has accused Congress of acting as judge, jury, and execution and passing legislation banning purchases of the telecom group's equipment as it confirmed in a lawsuit filed against the prohibited order. So the Huawei chairman called this unconstitutional. Uh, pretty amazing that uh, Chinese uh, CEO would understand the U.S. Constitution, what's unconstitutional and what's not. Nevertheless, uh, it will be interesting to see how this attack on the U.S. Congress really relates in the political realm as well. Next up, Facebook has pivoted. Mark Zuckerberg has released a position paper saying that Facebook plans to start shifting people towards private messaging away from public broadcasting on which its business is built. It would focus on private and encrypted communications in which users message mostly smaller groups of people they know. This is a dramatic change for Facebook and certainly one that could have uh, not only business implications, but political and cybersecurity implications as well. Also, you have to ask, what does, uh, does Facebook really mean this? Finally, we conclude with a story about billionaires fighting as the hedge fund Mildeen Capital Management has tossed the Sackler family out of it because of the bad press around the Sackler family and investment entities of the Sackler family were told by Hildeen Capital Management that they were no longer comfortable with managing their money. This is uh, certainly a first. We've seen that a hedge fund would turn down uh, money from billionaires for investment purposes, but it shows just how badly the Sackler family has been tarnished and their reputation damaged by the ongoing revelations about their pushing of oxycodone. This is Tom Fox. If you have any ideas for the daily compliance news, please feel free to email me at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. I'd love to hear from you. As you may know, we've had several new offerings on the Compliance Podcast Network. One of those includes Popcorn and Compliance, where Jay Rosen and I take a look at compliance through the lens of movies, both current, contemporary movies, and classic movies. Also premiering in December and Finally, Mary Shirley and Lisa Fine have premiered their new podcast, Great Women on Compliance. I hope you will check that out. It's a great podcast series. We have several other offerings that are in production that will go live hopefully in Q1 of 2019. I hope you will check back to see the offerings on this Compliance Podcast Network.